wonderful counselor, the everlasting Father, the mighty God, Prince of Peace, Jesus, the name above every name. Tonight we gather to celebrate our Savior's birth, the greatest news the world has ever known. But this Christmas season, have you stopped to think about the real meaning of Christmas? It's so easy to lose sight of it, isn't it? And all the hustle and the bustle, getting the kids to where they need to go. We're thinking, did we get all the kids the same amount of presents? Did we remember to get Aunt Judy anything this year? There's so much happening. And in the chaos of life this time of year, it's so easy to lose track of the Prince of Peace who makes this season possible. In the world, there's so much chaos right now, isn't there? Every time we turn on the, the news, every time we open up the, the internet to see what's trending, there's some story of crisis, of chaos. Political divisions seem to divide us both before and after elections. That There's war, there's strife, there's poverty, and we ask ourselves, where is God in all of this? Really, it wasn't all that different 2,000 years ago when Mary and Joseph made their trip to Bethlehem on that first Christmas night. They had traveled hundreds of miles on the back of a donkey in the very tense political climate of Roman occupation of their homeland, Israel. They were forced to travel to Bethlehem, Joseph's hometown, to register for a census so that they could be taxed by Rome. It was a cold and lonely and long and uncomfortable journey. And when they finally got there, they didn't have the money or the clout for a hotel room. There was no room in the inn, and they were ushered to a stable, a barn. And in that, that messy, smelly surroundings, God brought forth the Savior of the world. On that silent night, in the most unlikely of ways, in the most unlikely of circumstances, God brought His Savior, our Lord, the Prince of Peace. Started on a Sabbath night, glory lighting up the desert sky. A baby born in a manger filled with hay. Was this the way it was supposed to be? That the Savior of humanity would be the hope that the world had long seen. Christ is here. He is Emmanuel, God with us. This is the meaning of Christmas. This is the purpose of life. And He will meet with you wherever you are. His presence is the greatest gift that we have ever known. And maybe this year things in your life are, are great. Things are great at work. Things are great at school and with your family and with your health and your finances. And this has just been a banner year. Well, Christ is there with you in the midst of that joy. 
But maybe for you this Christmas, things feel broken. There's sadness, there's loneliness, there's discouragement, there's disappointment. Things feel broken at work, in your health, in your finances, in your relationships, or maybe you've even faced tragedy. Maybe there's, there's someone missing around your Christmas table this year. But even in the midst of that loneliness, even in the midst of that heartbreak, Jesus is there with you. He is God with us, and He is ready to meet us wherever we are. And so tonight we remember that it all was possible because of that precious baby born in a manger 2,000 years ago, born to be the light of the world, our Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ. And so tonight we raise a light in praise and honor of the light of the world, and we join the angels in singing, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, goodwill towards men. Sleep. 